Hey guys, uh, my name is Keith Trotter, and uh, what I want to show you today is first of all, uh, uh, Trotter Christian Fitness is what my business is. Uh, it's to glorify our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ first and foremost. It's not about me, uh, it's about our Lord and Savior. So uh, a lot of people are not going to the gyms and fitness centers, obviously with everything going on. I just show you what I do a lot of times at home. Uh, this is my first time on, so just stay with me. A ball is great for your joints, ligaments, and tendons to stabilize your muscles. If you have a shoulder injury, elbow, any joint in your upper body, it's gonna help work the stabilizers to make them stronger. And that way, when you get back to lifting weights, you're least likely to tear a muscle or hurt a muscle. It's all about technique, technique, technique. I've had the opportunity to uh, go to seminars with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferrigno, Frank O'Combo, Frank Zane, and they all say the same thing. Technique, technique, technique. You get quicker results and the chances of hurting yourself go way down. So if you would, uh, bear with me and check this out. This is a stability bar or Bose bar, whatever you call it. And what you do is get in position and you can just hold it like this in a plank position. That's what, and when you get to shaking, that's a good thing because that means it's working the stabilizer muscles. Okay, you can do many things. You can come down, do a push up. It's great for your core. Okay, you can do this, roll outs. Stretch your back, come back under. It's kind of a yoga pose. But again, it's about working the stabilization muscles. It's gonna make you really, really strong and get a great workout. Another thing you can do off the ball is you can just do basically sit on the ball and just kind of bounce back and forth like this. That's gonna work uh, your entire body, really, your core's got to tighten up in order to keep you balanced on the ball. So what I do a lot of times is I'll just do isolation movements, like curls, bicep. And you do 10 to 12 repetitions. And again, it's about technique, okay? You wanna go down slow, and come up on two. One, two. One, two, three, four. Okay? Again, you can do many things off the ball. You can do planks, do rollouts. Uh, again, if you have problems with your knees, joints, ankles, hips, sacrum, lumbar, you can use this ball to help strengthen the stabilizer connected tissue that holds the joint together, holds the muscles and tendons together. So you're least likely to injure yourself when you do go back and try to lift heavy weights. A lot of professional athletes use this, uh, college athletes, uh, anywhere from soccer to rugby, to baseball to football, uh, this is all over. Uh, Again, it's for ladies and men. But again, it's, uh, that's what I want to teach you. Again, what I want to show you here is how to do it on the ball. Just make sure you're perfectly even on each side. Coming down in position, get your chest over the center of the ball, and you just hold it. Okay, now you see me shaking? That's good. If I ever want to go, fall, go down, go down on one knee, I'm good there. You can do the rollouts on the ball. It's good for your back, your lats, and your rib cage or your anterior serratus muscle, which is really the rib cage area. It's great for that. And again, it, to vacuum out your, your midsection to lose weight around the midsection. 
Uh, it was taught to me again by people a lot smarter than me. Uh, I'm speaking of Arnold Schwarzenegger and the guys at the seminar. You do a vacuum, you take your belly button, and you suck it in as tight as you can. You're creating space in your waist, okay? And that's what's going to cause the fluid retention that's built up there to go away. It's also going to make your waist smaller if you practice it. Think about pulling your belly button into your spine to create that, okay? Uh, if you're going to do these triceps off the bog, start off. If you've never done it before, I suggest you do it this way. Again, you can use it against the surface or you can do it like this. Then when you get, uh, the more progressed you get, you can go up like this, again. Hold it, or you can do an actual push-up. Okay, now I'm gonna be coming back later and giving you another idea on how to do some training techniques that I think are, have been helpful for me and I think will be helpful for you. Uh, I'm almost 62. I've been blessed by the Lord not to avenge myself to where I'm able to keep continue to work out. He's blessed me to keep with the experts like Arnold, Frank Zane, Colombo, uh, even a lot of the female uh, ladies in the fitness world have taught me I learned technique, technique, technique. So if you have any questions, concerns, uh, I'd be glad to answer them. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be getting back with you shortly. And uh, I just want to glorify my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because without him, none of this is possible. Thank you. Amen.